do you really understand PhilHealth? This video is all about increasing your PhilHealth reimbursement by understanding PhilHealth. If you understand this concept, you and your hospital will have a potential advantage in knowing what will work and what will not work in PhilHealth claims processing. Hello, my name is Coach Doc Ben. I was a former PhilHealth claims chief. In my almost 15 years in PhilHealth, I have seen hospitals lose millions. I have seen hospitals end up in legal and got their accreditation suspended. All due to simple and preventable mistakes. I am the founder of UHC Clinical Claims Consultancy. We teach healthcare providers in decreasing PhilHealth claims return, decreasing their PhilHealth claims denied, and increasing their PhilHealth claims income. If you stay till the end, you will discover that understanding PhilHealth as an organization will provide you a clear understanding on how policies work and why does it work that way. Now, in almost 15 years in PhilHealth claims processing, I have noted that many hospitals seem to know PhilHealth, but many hospitals lack the understanding on PhilHealth. So knowing and understanding are related concepts, but they are not the same. Each is a distinct mental state involving cognitive grasp. So, knowing is static, referring to discrete facts, while understanding is active, describing the ability to analyze and place those facts in context to form a bigger picture. So, Example of knowing. PhilHealth is a social health insurance agency. Now, that is a fact. Health insurance is a system for financing of medical expenses by means of contribution or taxes paid into a common fund for all or part of the health services specified in the law. Well, that is knowing. Now, here is the understanding part. The three key elements common to most health insurance that you need to understand are the following. First, you have the payment of premium or taxes. This means funds are not finite and funds are limited. Most importantly, funds must be available and sustainable so that the program will survive. This means government and specific members will or must guarantee funding of the program. This is where universal healthcare comes in. Now, the next element that you need to understand now is the concept of risk pooling. This is a group of persons contributing to a common fund. Okay? Be it employed, there are self-earning or self-employed, indigent, sponsored programs, we also have the OFW, and others. They must contribute to a common fund. So the funds are used to pay the cost of health services. Now, it's like this. The healthy will help the sick, the financially capable will help the poor. Now, this is public funds and it must be protected and it must not be abused. So the last is a critical element. You need to understand and analyze delivery of quality services. So the key word is quality. This means health services like medical procedures, diagnostics, medicines, nursing care, medical care must be quality informed and done by competent hospitals 
as well as competent professionals. So, take note that three elements have rules and policies that needs to be followed. So, let us run through some real examples of PhilHealth policies and probably PhilHealth rules. So, is the patient eligible? So, universal healthcare law provides universal eligibility. So, but then the hospital needs to provide accurate information on the patient for the patient to be eligible. So, this is where the problem comes in. Incorrect information on documents is a common mistake in many hospitals for decades. Next, is payment contribution updated? So, if these are not updated, there are rules on surcharges. So, these exist for PhilHealth Fund Sustainability. So, for specific membership categories, the hospital must provide specific documents or receipts on this. So, this thing is evolving. The hospitals must analyze this. Now, let's go clinical. Okay? Does the patient, signs and symptoms require admission or does it require surgery? Is the clinical management appropriate for the diagnosis? Does the hospital have institutional clinical practice guidelines or clinical pathways? Now, these are very specific for doctors. If your doctors are quite ignorant on PhilHealth rules, okay, or probably ignorant in PhilHealth concepts, then most likely your claim will be in trouble. So the clinicians must understand that there are rules and standards for this. Now, take note, I am sure that clinicians know about this, but they may not fully understand the role and the accountability behind all of this. So, is the hospital PhilHealth accredited? Is the doctor PhilHealth accredited? So, now there is a checklist for this. Now, many claims are denied due to doctor not accredited. So, what is my point in all of this? As a hospital, you need to understand. Okay? The key word is understand. You need to understand that PhilHealth is an insurance agency exists with inherent rules to make things sustainable. So, they have rules on payment contribution, they have rules on membership, they have rules on claims processing, and they have rules on accreditation. The rules, many of them are non-negotiable. So, your claims, or rather your PhilHealth claims return, and your PhilHealth claims denied are simply a violation of these rules. It is as simple as that. Okay? Now, in my experience, many hospitals know PhilHealth, but they do not clearly understand the details of the rules. Their knowledge on PhilHealth rules is mostly based on assumption. Many are inaccurate. So, what should you do? Knowing is not enough. Knowing means being familiar with something, having facts in your mind. Okay? Let us go to unrelated example. You know how to drive a car, but you, or rather, but do you understand how the car works? You know your husband, but do you understand him? So, understanding involves connecting the facts with a context and grasping how, when, and why something exists or occurs. 
I think most of us know more than we understand. There are also, of course, things that we will really never fully understand. Now, one of Einstein's jewels of wisdom was that any fool can know. The point is to understand. Knowing is just the beginning and understanding is the end goal. Your PhilHealth denied claims and your PhilHealth return claims can decrease. You can turn this all in your favor by knowing and ultimately understanding rules. If you want to triple your PhilHealth claims reimbursement, you need to master the rules. You need to master the written rules and you need to master the unwritten rules of PhilHealth. Friends, if you like this video, tell me what you like about it. Has this ever happened to you or your hospital? And if you have specific PhilHealth claims topics that you want me to discuss, just post a comment. And if you want to learn more on PhilHealth rules, please subscribe in this channel. This is Coach Doc Ben. See you in the next session.